What's up guys? While traditionally Apple has made some big changes to its most popular iPhone every year, the upcoming iPhone 14 model actually shapes up as much less than previous upgrades. For starters, it is rumored to come with the very same chip used in the previous iPhone 13 model. That doesn't mean that Apple won't have a new mobile processor in 2022. It will, but it will only be used in the iPhone 14 Pro series. So what is then new in the iPhone 14 over the predecessor iPhone 13? And should you even consider upgrading? In this video, we round up the leaks and rumors, and so far, a short summary is that Apple is expected to upgrade the memory as well as bring some improvements to the camera system on the iPhone 14. Leaked dummy units and cases confirmed that the iPhone 14 will look and feel practically identical to the current iPhone 13 model. The 6.1 inch form factor and the flat side design remain the same, and so does the dual camera system on the back. The iPhone 14 is set to be made of glass on the back and front with an aluminum frame in the middle. We do expect to see a slightly different selection of colors though. On the front, the iPhone 14, just like the iPhone 13, has a 6.1 inch OLED screen with a familiar notch. The new eye-shaped cutout is only available on the iPhone 14 Pro series. What matters here is what hasn't changed. The iPhone 14 will still run at 60Hz, so you don't have promotion 120Hz support like on the Pro models. We do, however, expected to get a higher peak brightness for easier outdoor viewing. Nothing has changed on the biometrics front either. You have the familiar face ID and now that it works with masks, one of our major complaints against it is no longer a concern. The big news, or rather lack of, is Apple using the very same A15 Bionic chip on the iPhone 14, just like it did on the iPhone 13. It is, however, rumored to bump up the RAM from 4GB to 6GB of the newer and faster LP. DDR5 kind. Still, expect mostly the same performance out of the iPhone 14, with the gains reserved for the iPhone 14 Pro models this year. With the gains reserved for the iPhone 14 Pro models this year. We are yet to see how this will affect software updates, but it is only logical to assume that the Pro models with their newer chip should get at least one extra year of software updates over the known Pro. First of all, let's say that the iPhone 14, just like its predecessor, will feature two cameras on the back a main and an ultra-wide one, but no dedicated telephoto lens, again a feature reserved for the pros. At the same time, rumors point to mostly the same 12 megapixel sensor used for the main camera with a big change coming to the ultra-wide camera that will see an improvement, and our guess is that it will simply adopt the ultra-wide camera from last year 13 Pro model with auto-focusing and macro capabilities. An interesting rumors coming from various places insist that all iPhone 14 models are getting a new front-facing camera that will cost up to 3x the price of the current 12 megapixels front shooter, with auto-focus, possible image stabilization and a quality that is rumored to nearly match that of the rear camera. It will be great for vloggers and just people who enjoy a good-looking selfie. Apple made a significant jump in battery life in the iPhone 13, but so far we have no information whether it plans to once again increase the size of the battery inside the new iPhone 14. What seems certain is that the iPhone 14 family is not getting faster charging speeds and is instead keeping on with the same 20 watt charging we have on the iPhone 13 that works out to roughly 2 hours for a full top up. Both the iPhone 14 and iPhone 13 also support MagSafe wireless charging at 15 watt speeds. To sum it all up, so far, rumors and leaks do more to convince us that the list of upgrades in the iPhone 14 is rather slim. If Apple drops the price on the current iPhone 13 by $100, as our expectations, that would be a perfect argument to actually get the older model cheaper rather than buying the new one. Of course, it could just be that Apple's really good at keeping the new iPhone 14 features a secret and hitting us with something truly impressive in the fall. We will surely be keeping an eye for new and exciting leaks, but do let us know what does Apple have to do to convince you to upgrade to the iPhone 14.